Hello everyone, I'm Teacher Michelle and welcome to another episode of Unang Math. In this episode, I will be covering the topic about angles. Actually, we already had this topic in episode 17, but this time, I will explain this concept in a more detailed way. Okay, let's start. When we say angle, this is the space between two intersecting lines or planes. This is measured in degrees or radians. Angle is formed by two rays or line segments that share a common endpoint. That is what we call the vertex. Okay, for you to understand this concept, let's give an example. In this figure, you can see two lines, specifically two rays. So this is our first ray and this is the second ray. Okay, let's name the first ray as ray OB. Okay, second ray as ray OA. Okay, when these two rays intersect or meet at this common endpoint, so this is the vertex. When these two rays meet at the vertex, okay, this angle is formed. And this is the space between these two intersecting lines. This arrow refers to the size of this angle. Okay, now, how are we going to name this angle? Okay, the symbol for angle is this symbol. And we will read this as angle. Okay, how are we going to name this angle? We can name this angle as angle BOA. So, angle BOA or angle AOB or in this figure, we can name this as angle A or angle O. So, these four pertain to this same angle. So, in this figure, angle AOB or angle BOA, this is the figure formed by two rays. OA and OB starting from a point O or vertex O. Okay, as I mentioned, angle is measured in degrees or radians. Okay, what does it mean when we say measure of an angle? Measure of an angle is the amount of rotation from one line to another line around the vertex. So in our example, the measure of angle AOB or angle BOA, this is the amount of rotation from ray OA to OB around the vertex O. Okay, angle can be classified according to size. We can name them as acute angle, right angle, or obtuse angle. We actually had these three angles in episode 18. So this time, let's recall briefly the differences between these three angles. Okay, let's start with acute angle. Okay, an acute angle is more than zero degrees, but less than 90 degrees. Okay, what about right angle? Okay, right angle is exactly 90 degrees. Okay, obtuse angle, this is an angle, okay, that is more than 90 degrees, but less than 180 degrees. And for this time, okay, I want to include this fourth classification of angle according to size. And we can say, or we can name this as straight angle. Straight angle is a straight line. So in this figure, okay, angle CBA or angle ABC is a straight angle. And a straight angle measures 180 degrees. So angle CBA is 180 degrees or angle ABC is 180 degrees. Okay, now, 
Let's try this concept check questions. We are going to fill in the blanks with the appropriate items or answers. Okay, in the figure on the right, so this is our figure. How can you express angle A? So where's angle A? This angle. Okay, angle B or this angle using A, B, and C. Okay, so angle A or this angle is equal to okay angle a b c so angle a b c or we can say angle c b a so angle c b a okay what about angle b so this is angle b so how are we going to express this using a b c so angle b is equal to angle ACB or angle BCA. So angle BCA. Okay, this time let's answer the simple question. Okay, when angle AOD in the figure is a straight angle, so where is AOD or angle AOD? This line. We are going to find the measure of angle COD. So angle COD is this angle. So we are going to find the measure of this angle. Okay, since angle AOD is a straight angle, and we know that a straight angle measures 180 degrees, okay, we can find angle COD by, okay, adding this angle and this angle and the sum will be subtracted from 180 degrees okay angle boa or aob is 30 degrees and angle cob is a right angle so right angle measures 90 degrees so 90 plus 30 that is equal to 120 degrees. So 120 degrees must be subtracted from 180 degrees. So 180 minus 120, this is equal to 60 degrees. That means angle COD is 60 degrees.